I've been waiting for this brand uh, because for me, uh, in my wardrobe, uh, shoe is the most, most, most important thing. It's comfort and it's style. It's very, very important. Absolutely. Yeah. And I, whenever I go abroad, this, the first thing I shop is, is a shoe. Yeah. Great. Amazing. And I see you're wearing JNM shoes today. I'm wearing this Oxford. Lovely. Lovely. Thank you. <laughs> so, 
This, there's a special connection to this, uh, this uh, brand. Uh, there's a wing tip uh, model, uh, which I wore. It's so special written in my screen. Oh, wow. Uh, and that's, that's the thing when I come to uh, visit uh, or see uh, um, Tabu, Tabu's character. Right. So she, that's, the, that's the first thing she noticed about me. A wing I have left here yeah, a wing, wing uh, tip. Wing tip uh, yeah. Yeah. Amazing. And today those are the first things I've noticed about you as well. <laughs> uh, so, you always manage to look very, very dapper. So, is there a secret behind it? Uh, I, I don't give a lot of you know time for that. It's, mm -hmm. it's just that, you know, I, I, I need my comfort very much. Right. And something, you know, something which, which you know, I just instinctively which I like. Correct. You know, it should make me feel comfortable. It should make me feel nice about right. myself. Right. So are you more of a formal dresser or more casual? What I, uh, only for occasions I wear formal, otherwise I'm, I prefer casual and, uh, and casual I prefer uh, gypsy, more of a gypsy, some element of gypsy style. Oh wow, okay. Yeah. That's, that's you. That's really interesting. Amazing. So, your, sorry. So what's your go-to look for the red carpet? See, red carpet is always, uh, they have to, you have to wear uh, tux. But given a choice, I would rather wear uh, waistcoat, shirt and trousers. Right. And avoid, avoid, avoid jacket. Yeah, lovely, lovely. We'd love to see you in that for sure, in your red, next red carpet appearance. So, um, having talked about red carpets and you're no stranger to them, uh, tell us a little bit about your experience in Hollywood. Changing experience, a great experience. It just makes me more uh, about my work, and it, it's 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 demanding, it's engrossing. And in acting, if you are not engrossed in your work, it could be very boring. So, and uh, I've been working with directors, which are you know, it was uh, it's, it's impossible. It's like you cannot even uh, dream to work with you. Know, they're so. Uh, it's, it's just. Uh, it's a dream come true. It's a dream come true, and I never imagined, you know, I never dreamt of working with them. So, you know, and I've been, you know, really fortunate that I've worked with them. It's right. been really good. Absolutely. So, tell us a little bit about the directors you've worked with, the different styles of working. See, every director, like every actor, has his own uh, style. They have to develop their own style. Right. Although you can you can you can study in a same institute and you can study same uh, course or same formulas, but you have to at one point of time you have to come up with your own method, with your own style, and that's how the directors are. You know, sometimes the director creates a story through you. He just observes you. He sees what you are doing, and from that he reads the story. Sometimes few directors have their own uh, you know map and they nudge you towards that. So they have all have, you know, different styles. So they have different style of working, different style of preparation. Mm -hmm. Some directors, you know, they don't discuss this, uh, the script at all. They just sit there and they just chat a lot and it just make you easy. A few directors, they want to discuss the character a lot. Really but I would, I, and yeah. yeah, personally, I don't like reading a lot before going to the shoot. I would rather accumulate whatever comes. Uh, and see it when I start doing it. That's the time you start building the character. Absolutely. Uh, wow. I, do, I, do, I don't do a lot of readings because it, it just, you know, I, I, I don't function well when, when you know, there are a lot of readings before the before right. shoot. Right. Okay, amazing. I'm more spontaneous. Um, so, who's the most stylish person you've ever worked with in Hollywood? It has to be Angelina Jolie. <laughs> Of course, of course. Uh, so, Johnson Murphy is called the U.S. Presidential Footwear. Uh, every U.S. president wears a custom-made Johnson Murphy shoe. So, who, according to you, is the most stylish U.S. president? See, for me, it's uh, president being stylish as a. I think these two things, style and being president, they don't complement each other. Let me explain why. See, the president's job is to improve the society, to serve people. Style doesn't matter, actually. For me, uh, Lincoln and Kennedy were, you know, people who were trying to uh, take the society to, to a different level. Uh, if I give you an example, you need water and you dig a well. And you have a well, you know, very nicely shaped well, a nice, you know, uh, surrounding around it, but if you don't have water in it, 
uh, there's no point of being. Uh, so for me, it, uh, style for president, it, you know, it, it, it's his inner style which, which matters a lot. Absolutely, well said. Uh, so coming to you, what is your signature Johnson Murphy style? Uh, wing wing tip yes. is, is my you know favorite and it'll okay. never it'll never date. Absolutely. It'll always be fresh. Yeah. It'll always be in style and it'll always be um, you know it it'll never go out of fashion. Correct. Absolutely. And um, what's your one quick style tip for our beautiful audience here today? I think <laughs> You have to find your own style and, and to find your own style you have to start celebrating yourself. Absolutely. When you start celebrating yourself you find your own style. Fair enough, that's amazing. Um, you've always managed to look effortlessly stylish. Do you spend a lot of time getting ready? Or is it truly effortless? No, it's not effortless. It takes time and sometimes I don't like it. <laughs> and sometimes when you have to wear formals and you have to go to some occasions, uh, it takes time. Yeah. Um, uh, it takes time to choose clothes and you know what, what you feel nice and what is the occasion. Sometimes I do take time. Yeah. Absolutely. And uh, what are some of your pre-work day rituals? I mean, things you do before, like you start your day, or you never miss doing this on a daily basis. Are there some things like that? Uh, like my daily routine. <laughs> 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 You know, like everybody, whatever everybody does, you know, it's, I don't have any fixed type, uh, fixed uh, routine. Uh, sometimes I like to work out, sometimes I don't. Sometimes, you know, I just want to you know, lay around. And, you know, uh, I don't have any fixed sense. And that's what I like about my job. I don't need to fall into a routine. Correct. Um, you are absolutely amazing in Life of Pi. May I say that it's one of my favorite films. I've watched it multiple times over and over. Every time it's on TV, I make sure I'm like, Stopping everything else and going and watching it. Yes, it absolutely is.